South Korea is famous for this and this, but what I think South Korea should be more famous for are its mixed martial arts fighters, especially the ones in one championship. Korea has a lot of fighters in one, but there are six male fighters that I think every MMA fan should know about, and those are who I'm going to spotlight today. So like the video, subscribe, and let's get right into it. First up is Kwon Won Il, also known as Pretty Boy. This guy's got a 13-4 and record. He is a knockout master. He has nine knockouts in one. One of his knockouts is over the excellent Russian wrestler grappler Artem Bela. So he's knocked out a grappler. He's also knocked out the Mongolian fighter Shine Zoltseteg, who is an excellent striker. So Kwan can fight it with grapplers and strikers. He's got a boxing style. He's got a very good kind of uppercut liver punch or gut punch that he uses. And he is just an excellent, entertaining fighter to watch. He did get knocked out in, I think it was under a minute against Fabricio Andrade and he's been calling for a rematch ever since. I think it's gonna happen. That's, you know, that's the road that he's on right now because he's, I think, had four victories in a row. Let me check that. He's had three victories in a row, knocked out Mark Abrilado, Artem Belloc, and Shane Zoltateg. So his shot at Fabricio Andrade's MMA title has to be happening very soon. Uh, he's just probably got to get through either Stefan Lohman or John Lineker. So Kwon Won Il, definitely a high-level Korean fighter in one that I think everyone should be aware of. Next up, older guy Ok Rae Yoon, 33 years old, 17 and 4. This guy is very, very good. Great striker, can take a lot of damage. Um, highlighting for him, he has uh, defeated Eddie Alvarez. And he's defeated Christian Lee, although he his most recent uh, match against Christian Lee, he was knocked out. But he uh, has he's been a champion before, and he's on his way back up to at least getting another title shot. Oak Rayun, watch some of his fights; they're all, they're very entertaining. Uh, most recently fought Loen Tynanis at what was it? Um, uh, uh, one fight night ten last year so i think he's due for another fight in 2024 ok rayun another great korean fighter in the heavier side uh, or at least lightweight um next up okay Wu sung hoon why is he on this list well this guy got a first round technical knockout against yuya wakamatsu and if you look at how he got that knockout he just pursued wakamatsu around the ring chased him down was able to you know, stand and trade blows and punches with him on the feet, but also on the when he got Wakamatsu to the ground, he pummeled him, knocked him out, you know, in just a spectacular fashion. This guy, <clears throat> a lot of good energy, a lot of good fight energy. When he's in the fight, he's pushing a good pace. He's not, you know, running around the ring hiding. He goes center of the ring, center of the circle, tries to put the push the fight to his opponents and that's why he's here because i really enjoy watching him and seeing him fight win or lose when he lost a split decision to hu young that was interesting because hu young is also um kind of a, a similar fighting style where they both just want to knock knock their opponent out um, on the feet and score big punches and you know establish that range but uh, Wu Sung Hoon, very good fighter. I think we've got more good fights coming out of him in one. That's why he's on this list, and I think you guys are going to enjoy watching him uh, as he furthers his career in one. Kim J. Wong. So why is he on this list? I mean, he's lost uh, his two most recent matches, but who are they against? John Lineker and uh, Shoko Sato. Uh, his other matches that he's lost are against Shamil Gasanov and Tang Kai. Um, I, I, I mean, those guys are tough. They're, you know, people that are at the top of their division, if not champions. So Kim Jae Wong, excellent striker, a lot of good punching power, um, fun to watch. I think he needs to get, you know, some some wins. Uh, of course, he needs to get some wins, but you know that'll build his confidence back up, and then we'll start to see uh, how he was before. Because if we look at his overall record. 
He's got four KOs in one. Uh, he defe defeated Martin Nguyen. So Kim Jae Wong, no joke, definitely a good fighter. Deserves to be on you know one's top Korean fighter list. Okay, all right. Next up is the big boy, Mighty Warrior Kang Ji Won. This guy, 243 pounds. Uh, he has four knockouts in one. One of those knockouts is against Amir Ali Akbari, which, who, who is a great fighter, big, strong dude. If you can knock that guy out, I mean, you're you're definitely at a at a high level and deserve to be on the top uh, list of Korean fighters in one. So Kang Ji Won on there. Uh, he has lost to, let's see, who is it? Ben Tynan, yeah, recently Tynan uh, submitted him in round three. Tynan's a newcomer who is doing very well. I think he's on on track to fight Malik in one of these days, given you know kind of how small one's uh, heavyweight division is. So we'll we'll see about that. But anyways, uh, Khan G1 I think might have a rematch against Ali Akbari uh, in his future, and we'll see how that plays out. If he can knock him out again. Wow, that would be incredible if he can defeat him again, given how good Ali Akbari has gotten recently. That would be a big, another big uh, win for Kong Ji Won that would make him, you know, one of the greatest, at least in terms of Korean heavyweights. Uh, so he is definitely on this list. I want to see more out of him because I enjoy watching him. Uh, he does get a little slow. That's how a lot of heavyweight fights go. I think he needs to get. Uh, better stamina, better cardio, but uh, and that'll help him a, a lot. And so that's where I think he should focus on it. In, in terms of striking, you know, he's got it down. Yoon Chang Min. This guy has one knockout and four submissions in one, which is very impressive, especially considering the division he fights in. He deserves to be on this list of best Korean fighters. I, I enjoy watching him. He's got a lot of confidence, which I like. Uh, he did get knocked out by Tang Kai. Um, you know, they had a little rivalry going. I don't think he's at Tang Kai's level. Uh, not many people are, but you know, that's just how it is. But I do like uh, Yun Cheng Min. His overall record in one is seven and two. This is overall record, 30 years old. So he's still got more fights in him and hopefully we'll see more of Yun Cheng Min in the future because I like watching him submit people and knock them out as well. Yun Cheng Min. So there you have six great Korean fighters in one championship. Keep an eye on these guys because that nation of South Korea is going to keep pumping out some good fighters and uh, you won't want to miss them. All right, see you guys.